right. Let me... Uh, let me come right here. Hi. I guess I should have done the other one because I'm going to get my little intro, but it's fine. We're, we're crafting today. We go to the crafty streams. But hi, guys. Welcome on in. How you doing? Um, How's your Thursday? Early afternoon Thursday for me. <laughs> I had so many plans and then everything kind of went silly. Um, Yesterday, I was supposed to stream this stream yesterday and crochet with you guys. And then... I realized, oh, I wasn't set up for crafting, and I didn't know what to craft, and I was hungry, and I wanted to eat dinner, and then it got later, and I was like, oh, I could do a late night stream, and then I was like, I, was, I didn't know what to crochet, honestly. I was like, I have projects, but I wasn't, like, set, because I got back, right, and I was like, I, I need to set myself up and, like, list out and schedule things and figure stuff out, and I haven't done any of my crochet stuff yet. Um, which is unfortunate, but that's fine. No big deal. <laughs> We're crocheting today. Uh, we'll go for however long. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if we'll finish the whole thing today, but we'll see how long it takes. Um, and it'll be a good time. I could show you. So I have actually the project here. I made this many, many years ago. <laughs> And I really love how it looks. Um, it's the Moroccan basket on Moogly. Um, and I do have the the pattern in uh, one of my commands. I'll put all my commands in in a second. But I really love this basket. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to make another one. So we're going to. And I loved, like, actually the colors I chose for this. I used, like, a variegated yarn um, and a non-variegated yarn to go with this. I didn't choose a variegated yarn today. Now I'm, like second guessing myself and wondering if I should go run and look at the variegated yarns I have. <laughs> but I had a I had a couple a couple color combinations that I thought would be pretty. Okay. Put you back here. You're my example. I have this really pretty what do they call it? Eggplant. Right? With like a dark green. I thought that would be really pretty. Um and I had a like a, a black that has like some gray specks in it that I thought would be really pretty with like a rainbow or like a, something that would like pop like even like um oh what is the one I'm thinking of that changes colors ombre the ombre colors <laughs> I thought that would be really fun so I'm like trying to figure out which one I want to do, but I think we'll start off with the the dark green and the eggplant just because I think it's a really pretty color combination. And I feel like it like kind of works. I was I, the only reason I had this color combo like right away was because I started making a couple granny squares with it, and I was like, oh, this is really pretty. And then I was like, oh, I kind of want to use those colors for the basket. So here we are. That's what we're doing. I don't know if I have any other updates, but today we crochet. We do some lazy stitching. Uh, tomorrow, what did I have on there? Call to the Lamb. I might turn on crowd control for Call to the Lamb, by the way. So uh, that'll be fun. That'll be interesting. Let me pop in my socials, um, the pattern right there. So if you guys want to uh, make it with me, make it at some point in your lives, look at it, go for it. It's right there. Um, I also have a podcast. We just finished up volume four. We're working on volume five. That's coming out soon already, which is kind of crazy. I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> I have a lot of work to do, but that's fine. We we can get through this together. All right, so... Oh, I should have closed that. Hold on a second. So, close a couple things so I'm not having too much open at a time. Very good, very good. I add a couple more pictures to my little thing, too, by the way. So if you spot them, enjoy. Uh, and I probably should be posting those also to Instagram. I just, I haven't, because I'm, I always second guess doing that. I don't know why. I second guess it, and then I always have to come up with something to write. And that's, it's a lot. It's a lot. But I should, I should just go for it. I should, I should just not think, post it, and feel good about it. I think it works out way better. All right, anyways. Oh, oh, the other thing I was thinking of working on today was going to be more pony pony beads and like the little cute things I, I want to make out of those. I think that'll be fun too. So this is what we're going to work on today, but hey, you never know. We might switch it up if we feel like it, but I don't think we're going to. 
but maybe we'll work on those another time. If you guys are interested or you have a suggestion for a pony bead, let me know. Because I think I have a few now listed that I want to make, and I think it'll be fun. Alright, without further ado, let's try on some music. There we go. And swap it. There we go. Much better. Okay. So the thing is, is you start with the, the inner lining first, right? So you have, like, the lining that you do first, and then there's, like, an outer edge here that does, like, V-stitches on it. And it's really pretty. I think it's just so fun. I made this so long ago. Like, so long ago. And I use it for, like, a lot of stuff. Right now, I've been using it to hold all the, like, plant-related crocheting things that I'm doing. <laughs> so, like, little pots, um, the flowers, all of that stuff. It's just been, like, my little basket of plants. <laughs> but I feel like they could come in handy for a lot of different things. Now, the pattern itself calls for uh, bulky yarn, I believe. Let's see. I have it up. Super bulky. Come, it's super bulky? All right, so I didn't use super bulky on mine, and I'm not going to be using super bulky today. You could, then you're going to need a bigger hook. I think I'm either going to use a five or a five and a half for mine. But let's see. So we're going to start with the lining. And if you guys have any fun projects that you've been working on, you know, let us know. What are you working on? How you doing? How's it going? You know, hopefully, hopefully well with your projects. I feel like I have a million things. My, my office right now, I started, this is another thing yesterday that happened. I looked at my office, I looked into my office, and I was just like, nope, I, there's no way I can do anything right now until this thing is cleaned up. Now, is it cleaned up? Not fully. Absolutely not. I'm trying to make, like, sections of, why did this become a giant knot? Sections of, um, hold on a second, there we go. Here's, like, my current projects, here are the finished projects, and then, like, here's all of my materials. Um, that aren't in use at the moment. That's what I'm trying to do. And it's just a giant, awful piles of mess everywhere. It's very stressful. My office is stressing me out right now. And I don't want to turn around and look at it because it's stressing me out. <laughs> so I'm like, I think that's something I need to focus on. It's just trying to make this place not horrendous. And I know I've talked about it before, but it's one of those things where I have a million things to do and it's just like, I can't. I can't be bothered, but I think it's going to be necessary at this point. So I'm going to try using the five and a half and seeing how it goes. If it makes it too, like, holy and, like, loose and spread out, we'll, we'll frog it and we'll go down to a five. But I have a feeling either way it'll be okay. All right, so we want 12 double crochets. And I think this basket is actually not too bad to make, if I remember correctly. I loved this one. I should make- I want to make a bunch of them, I think. With, like, a- with different combos, either with colors, with col more colors, or maybe some neutral tones would be nice, too. But I think it- it's a really nice basket, and the fact that it has, like, that double layer to it, one, helps it stand up nicely. And then you can also put, like, heavier things in it technically because it's it's a little sturdier. Okay. But I know I owed you guys a day of stitching. And then I... <laughs> I had to get some work done this morning, so there was, like, no way. I was like, nope, 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 not this morning. It's not going to happen this morning. <laughs> but I'm like, maybe around lunch I could just hop in. So here we are, after lunch. Lazy stitching. Where does it want me to join it? Join... It's got to be... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to join it in the double crochet itself. Yeah, I think that's much better. And let's zoom in for you guys. Just a little bit. I don't want to go too far in, but I think that'll be better. 
course, it's dark yarn, so it's just a little too dark on the screen. <laughs> but it's it's not too bad. Let's see if I can't brighten this up a little bit. There we go. That's better. But it's kind of nice getting back into the swing of things, you know? It's one of those where I've been gone for a while and I'm just like, okay, hold on. I had a routine. Let's get back into it. And it's been super nice in the mornings where it's actually like cool, pretty cool in the mornings right now. It's going to get back into the 90s, but it's been nice and cool in the morning. So Harvey and I went for longer runs than we used to go to, which is even better. He loves it. I'm actually enjoying it. <laughs> but it is making me like want to ride a bike and do more and be more active and kind of go crazy. The interior of the basket is pretty simple. At least for the bottom, it's just going to be like a massive circle. The walls are where it gets a little bit more fun. But I highly recommend this one. I absolutely do, because I think this one's like just a, such a nice look to it and everything. I was, last night, we were watching, we were trying to catch up on House of the Dragon, and I was like, I need something to work on. So I made a a little pumpkin, because <laughs> my mom and I, of course, did crafts while we were up and visiting, and one of the things we had were these tiny mugs, and then she had gotten herself some little, cute little pumpkins to put inside of them, and I was just like, why didn't I get those? And I'm like, well, I could still make it. So I made a tiny pumpkin. You're I haven't... a hooker! Interesting. I haven't checked to see. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, okay? Hook. Hook in hand. How's it going? <laughs> I shipped you. <laughs> you're not wrong. I don't want to be called out, though. Um, but I was making myself a tiny pumpkin. I haven't checked to see if it fit, but I think it came out kind of cute. How are ya? How was your Thursday? <gasps> You're hooking too? What you making? Tell me everything. I don't think- you haven't told me about your projects in a while, I want to know more. I think this is good. I don't want it to be- Did I use a five- I- I- it's too- it's- it was too long ago. I'm wondering if- do I need to go down a stitch? I don't think I do because of the double lining. I think I'll be good. Mine might end up being a little bit thicker because this yarn is a little thicker, but I'm happy about it. I'm happy about it. You haven't been crocheting your previous job sucked all the joy from your life towards the end? Screw that job. Screw that place. That is no fun. But you got your Crojo back. I'm so happy. That's awesome. That's so good to hear. So what was your first project then? You're like, I got it back. I'm ready to go. What did you pick up? Da, 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 da. I want to see how long this takes me to crochet too. That's kind of part of my... Uh, experiment with this. I want to see how long it takes. Because I, I, I feel like it's going to be a quick project. You're almost done with a shawl for one of your co-workers who's getting married in two weeks. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, I love that. That's such a nice gift. It's like you can literally wrap them up in something. I love that. She wanted to stay warm in the back. I mean, you know what? Fair. <laughs> Absolutely fair.
Purple, pink, and white. I like that. That's a cute com color combo. Very soft. Like a delicate color combo. <laughs> Today I'm going with dark green and eggplant. I guess, what, what actual color is this? Hunter green. Hunter green and eggplant. You're gonna take some pictures tonight? Yes! You gotta share them. You gotta show it off. Be like, look at this. It's back. The Crojo is back. The Shifty is back. You can't stop them. <laughs> you can't stop it. It's a good feeling. Okay. You're using Karen, your love brand, and latte cakes in Plum Fresh. Ooh. Oh, so that's like the purpley pink. It's like a multicolor than the, the, the cake. That's fun. I kind of want to see what it looks like now. You said what it is. Now I can look it up. And I can be... Uh... Where is the word? It's over here. What is it? Latte, latte cake, Plum Fresh. Ooh. Ooh, pretty. Ooh, I like it. That is a really pretty color combo. I like it. Good choices. Good choices all around. <laughs> it's fuzzy. Ooh, it does look fuzzy. Wait, look, my screen is all the way over there. Okay, it's the little box when I'm looking at it. <laughs> But it does look fuzzy. I was wondering. I like that. That'll be nice and warm. I love it. I need to make more wearable stuff, but right now I'm in like the I need inventory zone. A halo or whatever it's called. That's fair. <laughs> I don't remember what it's. I don't know the term. I don't know the term. <laughs> How many rows is this? So this is going to be... Six? Six rows. Six rows of increases. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm going to make a bunch of these now. Like, I looked at it and I was like, you know what I haven't made in a while? This basket. And I have always been telling myself, you need to make more of those because I love it. And I think it'd be really nice. Okay. Put it in there. Okay. Back to back to increases. I like that. Oh, I should have showed you guys the cute um ghost my dad I made on his 3D printer when we were up there. There was a cute pattern. So when him him and I he's like I haven't used my 3D printer in forever, so then we were like well, we have to print these off. Mom wants these. And so we were, like, working with it. I didn't bring home the one that was clear because he liked that one. We did, like, so many variations on it to try to, you know, figure out the printing settings that we needed. But it's a cute ghost that's walking a ghost dog. It's adorable. And uh, the clear one I thought was really, like, we both thought it was really neat. My mom was like, nah, I like the, like the white opaque ones better. 
especially if you're going to paint it, right? But we were like, but what if? <laughs> what if you sprayed it with, like, glow-in-the-dark paint? Or, like, if we had the glow-in-the-dark uh, filament, that would also work, because I think that would be kind of neat. But I thought that was actually kind of cool with, like, the the clear filament. So, of course, like, you know what? It's it's fun, because we're just getting, getting crafty all over the darn place. And it'll be nice just getting back into all the crafts with you guys. I was actually kind of thinking that I should do more of my Van Gogh uh, diamond painting with you guys. I think that would be kind of nice. Maybe just some more painting and stuff in general. So we'll see. Fill it out with all the fun stuff, right? But if you guys are working on anything... Have any fun projects you'd like to share, feel free. You can always shove it into the Discord. We like to get to see all the the lovely pictures. See what you're up to. Show it off. Get some inspiration. I love getting to see what you guys are doing. I'm not going to lie. It just makes me smile getting to see all the creativity. <sighs> So once I get my life a little organized, because it's currently a disarray, um, <laughs> I think I'm going to get myself back into a good flow and a good zone when it comes to all of my art. leg is going asleep because I had it up. There we go. A little bit better. It's kind of funny because I didn't think about it, but I did a green interior for my original basket, and of course now I have another green interior for this basket. <laughs> you know what? It's fine. They're different colors you know this one's darker with a with a eggplant i still think it'd be fun to see what variegated yarns i have or could get for it because i do love the the variegated look or if i could get some more of the ombres you know having the ombre pop out with of this would be so pretty Where am I? <laughs> I'm not really paying attention. Okay. So at this point, we are increasing with three double crochets in between. We are on row five. So I feel like we're flying through. I think that's a good thing. And I'm not, I don't think, I think that the separation is all right, especially since this is going to be double thick. I'm actually not upset with like the number of like holes or how, how separated the stitches are. I think that's actually okay. Otherwise I would knock it down like the, to the five, but I don't think we have to. It was calling for a six and a half. But that's because it wants bulky. So, I mean, you could probably do this with any yarn. You just have to make sure you're using the, the right hook and just know that it's going to be a different size than what they say. Currently, I'm using, like, a worsted. A four. They're both fours, but they're different brands. So the one is slightly thinner than the other. Try 
trying to see. But it is a meat. They're both mediums. Yeah. It's one of those things. <laughs> My light fell all of a sudden. It's one of those things, though, where it's like the different brands will have different yarn thickness, even if it says it's the same. You just have to check to see. And you want to make sure that they're as close as you can. That would be my recommendation. And honestly, you could always, if you were like, no, I really want it to be the super bulky. If you take, it should be four. It should be a medium. If you take a medium and you put like three of them together, that would be super bulky. So you can always do the that little trick we've done before where, where's the end? Didn't I just have the end? Okay. Where you take the, the string and you can kind of like fold it so that it makes the three together. So you don't have to use three ends, right? You can just use one end and you can fold it up. And then there is your super bulky, which is really nice. Always an option. But I am having a lot of fun looking through patterns lately. <laughs> I say lately, but I think that's just a constant. I'm always looking through patterns and trying to find something that sparks interest and excitement and makes me want to make it. And of course, now that like I walked outside and it was like, oh, it feels like fall or like the beginnings of fall. And then it's gonna be 90 degrees on Monday. But it was like it's it smelled and it felt like the beginnings of fall. <laughs> it's just like now it's making me go, do I want it to be fall yet? Am I ready? Potentially. Fall is a nice time. This summer, though, has just been so hot and humid that I'm just like, ugh, have I actually gotten to enjoy the summer or has it just been too hot and humid to be outside? Ooh, speaking of being outside and actually getting to enjoy it my brother and i were playing tennis uh when i was visiting we played a few times it's been a very long time since i got to play tennis and i've missed it and i think it was like one part watching the olympics and seeing uh tennis <laughs> uh two watching a show where all the characters play tennis and three, my brother got a tennis game for his birthday, so we were playing that. And I'm just like, I miss actually physically playing tennis. So then we did, and it felt really good. And I was a little rusty, but we, like, brought it back. You know, you could tell that there was a lot of, like, ah, oh, yes, I remember what I'm doing. So that was a lot of fun. I don't know if any of you guys like to play tennis or any other sports or what have you, but oh, it felt so good. There we go. Okay. So far, so good. How long has it been taking me? Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm like a slightly distracted, but not overly distracted. <laughs> where I'm like not getting anything done so I'm feeling good about it 
And I honestly, I think it's a, a good idea to have the distractions in here while I'm testing how long it takes me to make it. <laughs> because there's no, I feel like there's there's not going to be a time where I'm like a little distracted by a couple of things while I'm making something. Could be anything, you know, stop in between and everything. Okay, so that was one, two, three, four, five. So another increase this round. And then we just have lots and lots of double crochets. Yep. <laughs> I'm trying to think of other com com combinations I could do with this. Get a lot of different things going. You hate math? Oh no. You were curious how many double crochets you've made so far in the shawl and it's scary. <laughs> you know, you're probably right though about it. You're probably getting the right number. It's, it's, it gets a little insane, doesn't it? <laughs> Especially if they just give you the, the number of stitches at the end of each round. Like that should, that should help too. And then you're just like, how many do I have to multiply that by? How many stitches have I done? <laughs> I bet it looks gorgeous, though. Did you use, like, a, a specific pattern for it? Or did you just kind of go with, like, a triangle? Patterns four rows, then basically says go till it's big enough. <laughs> oh, jeez. So it just keeps increasing and increasing and increasing. <laughs> That's great. I love it. Started with seven, increased by four every row, and you believe, which doesn't sound like a lot, but you're now at 57 rows. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is a lot of rows. You looked it up and you're like a mile and a half of yarn. That's so fun. No, I like that. And now I'm like picturing a ball of yarn just rolling down like the street. <laughs> displaying how much yarn you've actually used for this one project. It's beautiful. It's very artistic. <laughs> Just cinematic yarn rolling down the, the street. If you had the frog the entire thing, you'd just tie it to your doorknob and start walking. Yeah, exactly. Make it a very easy on yourself. You know, you get a little exercise. <laughs> you undo the project. It, it works out. <laughs> and sometimes I never think about like, oh my god, it actually used this much yarn. And then you have to put it in like perspective and you're like, oh, it was that much yarn. <laughs> But if anybody is interested, throwing it out there, I do have the pattern under exclamation mark pattern. So feel free, check it out. Make one for yourself. Tis a moogly pattern. You try not to think about the mind numbingness of it, but you know the ladies at work are going to ask, of course. <laughs> They're like, oh, how long did this take? What, how much did it, like, take? And then you're just like, oh my gosh. 
the insanity of our projects. <laughs> Four. I know it's not Whip Wednesday, all right, but we can pretend. So if you guys have any fun whips you're working on, lay them on me. What do you got? We got we got shawls, we got baskets, we got so many projects it's hard to list. <laughs> you're only like five hours in. It's an easy pattern. You've been able to just put on a show and watch while you crochet. Oh, that's the best. That's my favorite part is when you can just kind of go have a good time with it things in progress thursday tin tip i guess it's a tip then you got some tips going things in progress <laughs> or a thip thip whip and thip tip i don't know look it's one of those days i'm gonna sound like i'm a crazy person and i'm okay with it go da, 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 da. us hookers and our tips that's right that works out even better <laughs> our whips and tips and <laughs> always too many it's always too many it's very true Sometimes you try not to have too many tips and then you just, they just start to pile up, you know, one tip after the other. Okay. more of that yarn hello caged animal how's it going welcome on in hope you're having a fantastic thursday and a great week so far so good i don't have my yeah, I didn't bring that in here. I don't have my measuring tape where I tell you how, like, wide this is, but my whole hand <laughs> fits in there. All right, so next up, we're just going to be crocheting around for rows 7 through 14. Yep. So it's already going to start making the bowl shape, I think, is the idea. <laughs> so we keep it going. Watch back here. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't been in in a few months. Has it been? God, it's been. Stuff goes by so fast. Never apologize. You're totally fine. It's cra like, life gets busy. I've been busy the past few weeks, too, so I get it. <laughs> but it's good to see ya. It is good to see ya. I'm so sorry you've been having a rough time with your health, though. Try not to ex existentially despair. Fair enough. Sometimes it's all you can think about, but it can be difficult to be positive, I know. But hopefully you can can find some some good in all of it, right? Some good somewhere. Make yourself feel a little bit better.
I'm like already excited to get to the other color part that makes it really fun looking. <laughs> but I'm like, I have to do like seven more rows. There's so many. Get it in there. Goose. Yes. All the goose honks for good health. I like it. The honks of the goose. Speaking of goose, I saw a video this morning <laughs> that made me smile and laugh and there was like a song about bread with it and then there was these dancing geese and it just made me smile. It made me so happy. It was very silly. It was just so it was singing about how they just want bread and I'm like, I love this song. Now I really want to incorporate it somehow as like a, <laughs> as a Oh, what's the word I want? Like an alert sound or something. Because I'm just like, yes, this is me. This is my life. I love, I love bread. And I just want bread. What's on the schedule gaming wise? Let's see. We've played so far. We played uh, Unchained. Or no, Chained to Unchained. Chained Together. <laughs> Mole and I played Chain Together on Tuesday, which was silly and very fun. And then tomorrow, I was going to play Sims today, but then we ended up crocheting today. So tomorrow, I think we're going to be playing some more Cult of the Lamb. I know we have potential babies. We have an egg, don't we? We have an egg. I want to see what happens with that egg. So playing some Call to the Lamb. And then, I don't know if we're going to be playing on Saturday. We're going to see, because I don't know if I have plans to, or, yet or, or not. Uh, but there, there's a potential. We could always hop into something on Saturday, too. What games am I looking forward to? Oh my gosh. All of them. Every single one of them. I, I look forward to more Supermarket Sim, more Sims like gameplay. Maybe we'll do some more Minecrafting. What else? I want to play Subnautica Below Zero, but I feel like we have to finish Call to the Lamb first. <laughs> Maybe some some other cozy games that I have gotten recently. Jump into everything, right? The Indiana Jones game or the Ubisoft Star Wars? I don't. I haven't played any of the Star Wars ones, so I I, I tend not to know about those. <laughs> but I didn't know they made an Indiana Jones game. That sounds fun. That sounds like it could be a, a fun one. I always loved Uncharted, which I always kind of it was similar to Indiana Jones, you know, you know, treasure hunter esque type deal. And he's not, you know, as up and up as Indy, but uh, always loved Uncharted. Ugh. Such a good one. <laughs> it's like Tomb Raider, but with Harrison Ford. Fair enough, yeah. Core Keeper gets a full release. I saw that! I want to play. I want to play. So your request is accepted. <laughs> your request is accepted. Um, We just have to find a good time to do so. Either on or off stream. I don't care. Because I do want to play Core Keeper. 100%. Deep Rock Galactic. Is that the Star Wars one or is that a different one? There we go. I feel like the only Star Wars game I played. One, there was one on the PC back when I was a kid. Couldn't tell you what it was called. And then there was another one 
that was erasing. And I want to say that was on the N64. So those are the last couple games I played when I was a kid. <laughs> Which I always think is funny. Uh, luckily, you should start getting your schedules a month out short here shortly. So you'll be able to play pl and plan stuff. Oh, yes. Love it. Love it. I need more games with Shifty again. You're a space pig mining ore? I love it. 10 out of 10. Space pigs. <laughs> I'm hooked already. I'm hooked already. You love that game if you're power... Okay, now I feel like I have to look this up. I don't know what it is. What is it? You said it was called... Deep Rock Galactic. Am I seeing a giant beard? The art is cute. The art is cute. I like it. <laughs> I always love looking at new stuff. It's so good. Okay. So far, see, we're already getting that bowl shape happening. The basket is coming together. Was it? I love. I do love a good steam sale. You love a good steam sale when you can get stuff for like a fun price. <laughs> you don't feel like you're you're spending an arm and a leg on everything. I'm trying to be good and not, like, get anything new. And then I'm like, well, it's only $6. So then, like, the last thing I got was the uh, chain together. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I can do that. I'll spend $6. That's, that's fine. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I sometimes their their stuff lasts a while. So if anybody's looking for it, there you go. There you go. It might be on sale. It might have already ended. You'll have to look for the next sale. <laughs> Your issue is like you're like, oh, six dollars, but I get fifty games at that price. Yes, that's probably why I have so many, honestly. Because when they have the big sales, I'm like, well, I can get this many games for the price of one game. And I'm like, that's fine. <laughs> that's worth it. Cause I keep telling myself, I'm like, don't, don't get the, the new expansion pack for the Sims yet. And then I'm like, but I kind of want it now. <laughs> I'm like, but you have to play full price. I'm like, but I want it now. So I'm like waiting on it until I finally pull the trigger. We'll see what happens. <laughs> oh yeah, Humble Bum Bundle typically has like the the bundles of games. Which is pretty cool. Or if you're getting out of Epic Games, you can use my, my code LADYLAZYPUP to get me money. It doesn't get you anything, but it helps me get a percentage of whatever you buy. <laughs> There's so many places you can get games and stuff, it's kind of hilarious. Look, I had to do my brag for that one. I have a code there. Use it! <laughs> Help me out!
there's actually a few games on Epic I have right now that I'm like, oh, this looks fun. And I'm like debating on whether to play with you guys on on stream or if I should just like play it. I feel like that's always the question that goes through my head. Do I do I do this on stream, YouTube, or just for me? Nineteen forty one is in the pack. An airplane arcade game. Oh, there you go. There's like those crazy simulator games with the the flight simulators. They have gotten so nuts at this point. I remember playing one. I don't know why I keep thinking about old games that I've played, but like. Bay, way back in the day, I had a, a flight simulator game that was really cool. And I feel like they're just getting more and more insane. <laughs> I have not been counting, but I'm assuming this is only like two or three. I have to check in a second. Biplanes from the OG Nintendo. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> I think the one I'm thinking of was a PC game. I don't know if we had a flight one that was like realistic flight on a console. go so I think they're gonna have me put it inside out just to do the next part or I don't know which way they're gonna have me do it because this is this is the way it's going to sit because this is the interior so you're going to see this piece on the inside. You know, I think it is Microsoft Flight Sim. I think you're right. I think you're right. I think that's the one. You have a link for your job that gets you money when people shop. It's so awkward trying to be like, buy through this and get the money too. And you get the money too. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. But that's what I do for Epic. That's what I have with my Epic game one. So it's, it's the same idea. You put in my name and I get a percentage. It's a very tiny, minuscule percentage, but it's something, you know? So it's useful. I kind of wish it gave you a minor discount, too, so I could be like, hey, you get a discount, but it's more like, you just get to help me. I mean, if you're going to buy anything, right, from something like that, it's it's worth putting somebody's code in, then, at that point. You used to watch Flight Sim videos to fall asleep. I like it. then you have the crazy person who's just like i'm just going to go i'm going to try to play this game and they can't fly at all and it's not very relaxing <laughs> i.e rachel rachel playing a game where she's just like i don't know what i'm doing crash the plane crash the plane again whoopsies whoopsies into the water You'll keep it in mind. Thank you. <laughs> you meant more like the people crashing, metal screeching, humans screaming. You know, it 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 helps us sleep. You know, it's a it's a great way to sleep. You know, I like it. I like it. It's like how half the time I'll end up watching a a true crime documentary right before sleep. It's very relaxing doesn't give me nightmares at all <laughs> that would give you nightmares right mm-hmm mm-hmm 
just noise that's louder than your own brain i feel like that that makes a lot of sense something that'll help turn turn it down or turn it off inside of your head i do lots and lots of reading before bed and it'll either make me go, oh, I can do another chapter, and then it ends up being a little later than I expected, or it, it helps me feel more relaxed and fall asleep easier, which is great. Of course, I was finally able to get my book club book, and we're meeting tomorrow night, and I do not have the book finished because I was finally able to get it, like, two days ago, and I'm like, great. <laughs> I don't know, I'm going to finish this in time. We'll see how that one goes. I'll probably be up all night. Like a good sewing machine. Yeah, there you go. That is a good sound. I agree. Fun projects and everything. I like it. HGTV. HGTV should just have like a, a nighttime version where it's just they don't talk. There's no gimmick. It's just somebody building stuff and doing DIY projects. <laughs> That's all it has to be. Dun, 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 dun. It is getting warm in my office. I have the door closed because my husband's working on something in the other room being loud. So I was like, oh, I'll close the door because I knew he was going to end up being loud. And I'm like, now it's just getting stuffy in here. I might have to turn the fan on. And right now, I think it got too warm out. Otherwise, I would open the window because it's been like there has been such nice breezes. So in the morning and at night, I've been like opening the windows, which is great. Okay, after this row, I have to count because I haven't been counting. <laughs> I have not been counting and it'll let me get up and... Turn on the air. Also, I know we're in an ad break, so grab a, grab some water, run away, do what you need to. I might get a drink, too. Stretch, give yourself a, a little wrist break. There we go. So let me do that. Ugh, stretches. Stretches! Sippage! <laughs> oh, there we go. All right. I desperately need a haircut. I'm, like, trying to come up with like, how much do I want to take off this time? Or, like, do I want to do a different style or something? It's getting really long. <laughs> and I'm like, I kind of I kind of want to go a little shorter, but I don't want short hair. And I'm like, I don't think I can do it. I, like, the one time I went short hair and I felt, I felt awful and I hated it. And it looked stupid. Haunts me to this day. But I'll probably end up with the same style. You guys won't even notice a difference. <laughs> there will be no difference. Okay. So where are we at then? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So what, five more rows? Five more? I think so. I think so. I don't know. 
But like this, this bang, like my fringe slash bangs, whatever you call them, wherever you are. I hate them right now. They won't listen to me. They're not like too long, but they're like, no, we're just going to keep separating because we're just at that point. <laughs> and I had cut them a couple of weeks ago and I was just like, okay, that should help me. It didn't hold out. They're just at that awful length where they won't do anything that I asked them to. So I'm like, yeah, I need to go get my hair cut. It's just, it's, I need to. I probably should try to get into the person eventually. Anyways. <laughs> uh, so goofy. Because it's just like, it's just, it's just too long. And I needed the layers. The layers are the bigger issue. Alright, back to crocheting. Back to crocheting. Hopefully you got some water. Gave yourself a break. Stretched. Did whatever you needed to do. And then we're back to stitching. And I said, how many rows left? Five on this part. And then we go to the next color. I feel like this is going to be a, a pretty quick one. I like it. Always like a good... A good quick project. Or a semi-quick project, you know. I love doing detailed projects that take 10 hours, you know, but <laughs> something that is really pretty, but takes and, but you can get done in a day or you can get even two done in a day. That's a plus right there. It looks like a beret. So far, it could be a beret. So far, I mean, it's, that's pretty much how you would make the berets. You know, you gotta have that piece that comes in and then it'll, like, tighten up again. <laughs> I have my gray one. Should I put it on? My lid. Then I can hide my hair that hates me. You want to make a new Bigfoot? I like it. Do you want to, like, are, are, are you telling me I have to make a new pattern? Because <laughs> I have been talking about that. I have mentioned it a couple times where I'm like, I need to update our pattern for Bigfoot. There, I have my, my part slouchy hat, part beret. It's more of a slouch, but I like this hat. You want to see if you can find another one? There's like some cute ones out there. You can always go for it. I just kind of want to make one that's a little bit more either detailed or like the advanced pattern, right? <laughs> I do love how we did the toes, though. But you've been wanting to make some stuffies. Been doing a lot of wearables, and you're like, I need some more stuffed thingies. Give me more. I agree. It's always time for more amigurumi. Always. The toes must stay. Always. Always. I promise they will. You gotta have those adorable Tootsie Toes on your Bigfoot. I was also thinking, I tried doing that the mystery crochet. At the beginning of the year, we did a couple months of it. I want to bring that back because I know I got a little hectic in the early months and then it was hard to bring it back again. But I was wondering 
you guys can let me know or we can always like put this in the discord and then get more people input on this but i'm wondering if you guys would want me to do it again where you guys have to guess what the mystery crochet is and i already know what it is you guys could send in patterns that can become like mystery crochets and i have no idea what they are and i just have to make it because <laughs> that could be a fun one too And I've, I've found a couple on, like, Pinterest and stuff where, like, people do a mystery crochet and they just post the pattern without any images or details and, like, the titles and whatnot of what it is. So we could always try to find those, too. But I feel like it could be fun. Tootsie Toes, does this mean we, sh we should name the Bigfoot Tootsie Roll? <gasps> I like that. Big old Tootsie Roll over here. That's perfect. <laughs> There's an amazing YouTube channel that's doing vintage crochet patterns with uh, without names and pictures. You're scrolling crocheting to find out what they are. See, I love that. I do like that. <laughs> What's wrong with your typing? Don't worry, it's okay. I didn't say the mistake out loud. <laughs> But that's fun. I have I have a lot of patterns in like this this bag in my corner right now. I don't know how vintage they are or what is considered vintage anymore. Um but I think that they probably all have titles and what they what they are. I don't think I have any that don't explain that cuz that would be fun too. But I do love it. I do love it. But I kind of, I'm kind of thinking it would be fun if you guys sent in patterns. And I can either recruit my, my lovely mods who love me. And they can help me only have the pattern parts of the piece. So I don't see the names, the titles, what I'm making, any of that, pictures, yada yada. I just get like the colors, what I need, and then crochet it. <laughs> Or I can try doing that and just be very aware and then we can I can make them all up and then like just pull them out of a hat. Cause that would be a lot of fun. A lot were from like the nineteen twenties, nineteen sixties. That's cool. That's so fun to have like all of those. Look at it's forming. It's forming. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, four more. If you want to do that, I'll gladly find the most obscure patterns. Do it. Do it. I want. I think I want to do it that way. I think that would be very fun. Because then viewers and myself won't know what it is until it's made, right? And hopefully it's a hopefully it's a good pattern. I guess that's a good test of a pattern as well, where you're like, I don't know what I'm making, but if it's if it's directing me properly, I should be able to make it, right? <laughs> so that could be kind of funny as well. So then neither of us will know what it is and we can make guesses. And I will try not to read past what I'm doing. I won't even read through the entire thing. I will just start from the beginning without reading any of it. Because my brain starts putting it together sometimes. I'm like, oh, I think I know what it is. <laughs> Visualize the stitches. Welp, uh-oh. <laughs> If I put you down a rabbit hole of craziness, I am so sorry. But I think I think I'll have to do that. I'll make a thing where we can submit patterns, where you guys can like upload and submit patterns. Um I think that'll be fun. I'll I'll put it in Discord later. I was going to mention this like last week and then I was like, ah, I got to put my brain together for a second on this one. <laughs> You went down a rabbit hole? Oh boy. 
It is fun to go down some rabbit holes sometimes. <laughs> you get caught up in something and get and get excited about a subject. I am I am recently I have recently thrown myself into a rabbit hole of wanting to do something for charity month next year and i'm very excited about it and i'm hoping i can get it to work i don't want to say anything i don't want to jinx it i don't want to say anything yet but i'm thinking about it and i'm like this would be fun <laughs> so now i'm like i want to do this so we're gonna see what happens but that's where my rabbit hole brain has gone right now is into something i want to do in may of next year <laughs> Which, honestly, I probably need to, like, uh, for what it is, I'm going to have to plan that far ahead. Anyways, this is more fun because as we get patterns given by you guys, I definitely could just have fun making everything. I have seen people use, like, AI to try to create patterns and see what it does, and they end up being, like, horrific and, like, just really bad because it's not accounting for anything. <laughs> and you look at the pattern, you're like, that's that's not even the thing I asked you to make. I wanted it to be super simple, and it's like, that's, um, yeah, no, no. But I like the idea of finding patterns. And I would say make them free patterns so that we can we can then um give the name and the the person and a link to the to the pattern. Otherwise, I don't know if it sh would technically be legal because I don't want to be showing the pattern or anything so you guys can follow along. But now I think this is a good idea. I think this will be fun. You just found the pattern you'd like to submit. Sadly, it is paid. Oh, but you you like to need it for yourself. You know what? That's perfect. I'm glad you got a fun pattern for yourself. <laughs> I was I was just thinking, I love how you did that at the same time as me thinking about it. I was like, um, maybe it shouldn't be a paid pattern. I'm like, I guess if it is, we can specify that to me and I won't tell you guys what part of the pattern I'm on or what I'm doing. It'll just be kind of like, okay, this is what we've, we've made so far. I'm on to the next section. But if it is a free one, then I could have you guys play along so you can all make it together, which I think would be funny. Honestly, if I could get a bunch of crafters together where we could all be on stream together and showing our work and hanging out and we make a crazy mystery pattern together i would love it so i'm gonna keep that in mind too <laughs> i said this and the speed at which you sprinted to reddit i love it that's actually probably a good spot for it you know you can find some good stuff on there Find some cool things. You could check out um, yarn, yarn inspirations. Yes, Moogly has a bunch of free ones. That's what we're doing right now. Is a Moogly Moroccan basket. But I, I, I kind of like the idea of evolving my mystery crochet into this. So this is good. I'm happy. <laughs> I am now happy. No, OMG, it's like book club. We get a bunch of crocheters together. Each one submits a mystery pattern and we pick it random. Yes. Yes. Write this down. Write this down right now. Immediately. <laughs> get to the crafters section and see who's available for this. <laughs> Crafting club. Mystery craft club. Mystery crochet along. <laughs> uh, 
I like it. I like it. Ooh, speaking of stuff that we like to do as groups, it's probably not yet, but all of a sudden I had this like feeling of, ooh, when do we need to talk about it? Our our yearly ornament exchange. We're going to have to start thinking about that. Cuz we can we can have that available to sign up for really early and hopefully we can get some people going give a lot of time for everybody to make their crafts for each other, because that would be a lot of fun. We do that every year. We've done it twice now, and I love it, and I think it's so much fun, and it's cool to see, like, what the other crafters make, and you don't know who you're gonna get. It's wonderful. <laughs> and I know 100% we're gonna do it again this year, so... Dun, dun. Okay, how long has this been taking me so far? Okay, an hour and 20, hour and 20. I think I still have two more rows of this to do. Yeah, so this will be 12 and we have to go through 14. But I love a good mystery. I, uh, like, for the Super Bowl and stuff, they sometimes will do, like, a mystery kale. And those are fun to do as well. They'll, like, release parts of the pattern throughout the day. So that's always fun to, to play along with, too. Of course, I have football on the brain because my fantasy draft is on Sunday. I haven't even gotten to look at any players. <laughs> I'm like, oh god. I do have my magazine, though. That should help. And I have a lot of websites, but I'm nervous. And hopefully it's not too stressful. I don't know how many of you guys actually are part of, like, any fantasy sports stuff. Or if you if you listen to or participate in Shelf Life's fantasy draft, that's going to drop. Well, did it drop already or is it dropping next week? Hold on. I should check my schedule on that one. <laughs> I don't want to reveal too much. No spoilers. Let's see. What? Okay, there we go. There you are. Oh, so it goes off next week. So this year's fantasy draft goes next week. And the whole idea with that, if you're curious, it's with my podcast. Here, I'll just shove it in there for a second. Uh, podcast. Um, we've done it a couple of times. We take the characters from, like, the shows that we we covered or, like, the subjects that we covered. And then we have to draft them into some sort of scenario, like an apocalypse or, oh, what was the other one? We did an apocalypse? I can't think now. There was another one that was really silly. I can only think of the one that we did this year, so I don't want to tell you guys what it is, but it's kind of fun. It could be a fantasy football team. It could be an apocalypse scenario. You could be, like, stranded on an island. You might have to get out of an escape room be a heist situation all of these different things so it's just kind of fun but if you do any of those types of drafts then maybe you understand me oh my god you've ruined my life the rabbit hole i'm diving down it is leading to the cutest stuff and you can't crochet all of this yes you can you can you can at least collect it <laughs> that is one of these parts of being a crafter is you collect the patterns <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. 
But if I can, if we can get a monthly mystery crochet uh, going, I would love it. Or a bi-monthly. We could make it like two months. Because then we could get together once or twice. And work on it together. Unless it like finishes in like one day, but... <laughs> My guess is that would be kind of difficult. So then we can see everybody's progress and we can show off because that would be fun. Would I be willing to put zippers into the pattern? Sure. I got a bag of zippers. I can get more. I'll do it. You would go as far as to make up care packages and send it to me with all the supplies. How how fun would that be? We make kits. We make the mystery crochet kit. <laughs> how fun. I love that. You have like little kits that you send out. Oh, that's cute. I like this. How many, how many do I have? So I needed two more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, two more. It's like, it's just, it's fun though sometimes, right? When you do it, you, when you have a good mystery and you don't know what the hell you're doing and then it happens. Bum, bum, bum. I want to get to the fun part that you guys can see the color changes. This is necessary. I almost was going to do my normal time today, but I couldn't. One, because I was going to have dinner with my husband for date night, and then date night's going to turn into me podcasting with my brother, <laughs> like recording one. So it's like, yeah, yeah, I have too much stuff to do right now. It's like all of these things all at the same time. It's like, don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. This is why I need to come up with a, a schedule and stick to it. Yep. That is all. Just a schedule that I can actually stick to. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe I should change up how stream goes, but I'm so, like, set on the same times all the time where I'm like, can I change it up or is it going to take a lot of effort? <laughs> It'll probably take a lot of effort, but I don't know. Maybe it would be good for me to, like, switch up some stuff going on. I am slouching like crazy. I should not be allowed to slouch. It's going to hurt my back. <laughs> One of the things I was really glad about, because we were gone for like so long, on my plants, I was a little worried about my plants. <laughs> my lovely neighbor though came and was like wash like watering all the ones outside. So that was good. My lemon tree is alive and doing super well. <laughs> and all the ones I have inside can tend to be like very neglected. <laughs> Which sounds really silly, but at the same time it's like no, they're usually pretty good about not being watered for most of the time. You can look at them and go, mm, you look like you need water. Of 
course, I had to take a bunch of clippings again. So I have a ton of clippings now. I'm like, I have to start just giving these away to people. Because I'm going to have way too many plants just from my other plants. <laughs> so I have just clippings upon clippings. Okay. See, this is one of those, like, mindless ones, because it's really just double crochets. At least for the interior. And then you get into a couple more stitches after this for the exterior piece. Because what we're going to end up doing is making another circle. goes on the bottom as well. Nice double thick bottom. Okay, was that the last one or no? I don't think it was. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One more row! <laughs> one more row for the inside! The lining! I feel like you could easily make this one, like, bigger or smaller, too. Depending on what you want to use it for. So it's pretty nice. You know what? I'm going to pop in. There we go. There's the pattern again. If anybody is curious or interested, there it is. They have a pay pattern for their Ravelry. Ravel? Ravel? Ravelry? Ravel, Ravelry. Why does that sound funny in my head? Oh, <laughs> or they also have a free one that has like a bunch of ads on the, the website and everything too, but if you want it pretty, you can get the paid pattern. Let's see. So the lining with distractions... It's taking about an hour and a half, I would say. Because we didn't start right away, we talked first. You know, I had the opening with starting soon, and then we chatted for a few minutes, so... A little less than an hour and a half, then, for the, the lining. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. I still, one of these days, just want to do a marathon of crocheting. <laughs> the marathon crochet, or crochet marathon. Where I have, like, specific patterns that I have to work on, or make or see how much I can make in a day or like one big project and just go one it would just help me you know get a bunch of projects done at a time and two I feel like it could be just be really fun maybe I could just make that a part of charity month too I just do a marathon <laughs> We just do marathons in May. Okay. Da I've been actually wanting to do a lot more simming, like sim gameplay and stuff, 
I was thinking we could start like an actual legacy on on stream. I had my my, my first one I did with you guys long time ago now was whimsy stories so i have that on the list as like an option to either go back to or start over but i have a few others that i think would be a lot of fun for us to to do together so i might start one of those i'm, I'm hearing sims music so it's making me think of the sims um but i might start one of those with you guys on stream because i do have one like a, a a legacy going on my youtube and it makes me happy, but I was like, oh, it'd be kind of fun to share it. So like, maybe I need just a second one going at the same time. <laughs> so you might be on the lookout for a bunch of stuff where you guys get to put, give me your input. So just be ready for that. Because I always, always enjoy having or getting to see what would be exciting for you guys. Because usually it's like, well, all of these things make me excited. What matches with what you guys are thinking, too? Dun, 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 dun. We tried doing the 100 baby challenge, but my game was super broken doing that. If we, we could always come back to that, but oh my god, it felt so broken. I just couldn't. I just couldn't do it. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't want to go back to it. Maybe one day, but it felt so broken to try to do that challenge. Okay, so that's 14. So we have like the basic basket. You know, you could stop right there. You have a basket. But now it wants me to do wrong side out. Which is now the inner lining of our lovely basket. I don't think I need um to make this like a long string or anything. So I'm just going to cut it. Finish it off. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. There it is. So part one complete. So now we're going to take my eggplant and do the outer portion. Whoopsies. So put you to the side, bring out the new color. And that's why I really like this, too, is because you can get really creative and fun with the color combinations because you have the interior color will pop through. So I feel like no matter what you end up making, it's going to look really cool. <laughs> now, with this one, I don't know if I'm going to have to be a little bit looser. I'm par partially wondering if I should have used a smaller hook on the thicker yarn. Otherwise, I might have to use a thicker hook with this yarn so that it lines up nicely. And there isn't too much stressing or stretching. But how is everybody doing? Are you working on any fun projects today? Or do you have any projects going right now in general that you're working on? Let us know. You can tell us about your things. <laughs> things in progress for Thursday. Thursday's things in progress. go nice i like it so now this is this is the easiest part because i'm pretty much doing the same exact thing i uh, did before <laughs> i'm just making the big old circle on the bottom 
So we're going to increase probably six rows again. Yeah, I think so. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. I really love this color. I got this one on a whim. I had no ideas for it. I just was like, yeah, um, I like that color and I'm going to purchase it. So that's, <laughs> that is currently why I have this color, but I really loved it. I thought it was such a pretty piece. So I was like, yeah, I'll find something, some use for it. And I, I like it so far for the basket. And I do still think I like this color combination for the granny squares I started making. So I might use these as, for that as well. But I should check to make sure that this these line up nicely. Oh, perfect. Okay, I think we're good. We're good. <laughs> I was concerned it was going to be a lot smaller than the green, but... I'm making sure to keep a very loose tension since this will be on the outer side. The green part will just like fit right into the, the purple, or like an eggplant, pinky, purple color, whatever. <laughs> go I'm kind of well I feel like the variegated would have to be on the outer part but I guess it could be on the inner part too because like the green of like my my older basket pops through a lot so you might get more of the variegated in that part of it, but I don't know. I might have to try it both ways and see how it looks. Because I think it would be fun. And I still kind of like the idea of using this black yarn that I have for either the in, inner or outer layer. And then using this rainbow variegated yarn I have for the other part. Because I feel like it would pop so, like, so prettily. So prettily through. You'd have, like, such bright colors coming through. So that could be a lot of fun. Like now all I'm doing is coming up with different color combination possibilities in my head. I'm like, okay, we could have like some good browns going. Like you could have like a nice tan in there somewhere. You could go like sports teams colors since that's also on my mind.
go. Yeah, we might we might actually finish this today. This will be cool. I like it. <laughs> I love a day where I can get an entire project completed with you guys. So I'm knock on wood. Should we have a prediction up? Honestly, it'd be kind of funny. Hold on. <laughs> I'm putting up a prediction because I think it'd be funny. I'll put it up for a long period of time so you guys can can think about it. Uh, what is it? Oh, where did it go? Crochet project. We'll say. Should there be a third? <laughs> I'm like, is it just a yes no situation? Only, only today. I'll give you, I'll give you guys a long time to submit for this one, because then whoever hops in, I'm starting the prediction, getting it in there. You guys can use your paw prints, which is always a fun one, because you can use as many paw prints as you want. And then you can use those paw prints you win for other fun things. <laughs> okay. There we go. Bring this back up. Okay. For anybody who's just joining and wanting to participate in that prediction, I have gotten the inner lining completed at about an hour and a half. Um, and we still have to do the inner lining or the out. No, the inner lining is complete. We still have to do the outer part and like the, the rim and the handles. <laughs> but I'm feeling pretty good about it. So I don't know if that... If that, like, sways you one way or the other. But I'm feeling good about it, so. Have fun. Predict away. I don't know why I capitalized today. I guess that's just emphasis. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, it feels like a good day to craft, though. I like it. I'm happy. Going for it. And then getting to hang out with you guys at the same time, that's a plus, so I'll take it. You see a you see a pinguino doggo. Hello, emoji man. Yep, he's here. Hello. He probably won't text. He probably will not type into chat. But he's he's there. He's cheering me on. You didn't expect him, you just wanted to say hi. That's fair. That's fair. You could fight him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, your hand's starting to hurt. Everybody, stretches. Stretches. Get those wrists stretched out. Wiggle those fingers. Give your back a break. You could fight him or you could... <laughs> Yep, that that is always an option. Yep. It's always an option. Good choice. Good choice. I'm glad you're still hanging out with us, Caged. I'm glad. Hopefully you're having a good time. Da 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 da. Da 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 ya da da Okay. What else can I tell you guys about? What else did I do while I was away? I did get to go kayaking, so that was fun. I went kayaking on the river with my dad, so that was nice. We haven't gotten to do that in so long. And that's always just, like, a fun thing to do. It was a good day for it. I did end up getting burnt, but... I do... I do like to kayak. Because we went to the lake this year. My husband and I. So then my dad and I went down the river there, which was fun. Ba -da -da. Trying to clean? Oh, that's fair. Hopefully it, it's helpful motivation. I also need to clean. <laughs> I also need to clean and organize. So hopefully it's going well for you. And that's... It's going to go well for... Why did I start... To, no, hold up, hold up, hold up. When did I start making a mistake? Right here. There you go. Fixing it, fixing it. You miss doing outdoorsy stuff. I I'm a big outdoorsy person. So, if there's any a time where I can't, I don't get to do outdoorsy stuff, I end up missing it, and I'm, like, sad. So I get it. I love getting to, to go out and do whatever outdoors. Hiking, walking, biking, tennis, kayaking. Whatever will get me outside. OMG, you need to clean and do laundry. It's just not happening. Crochet is coming first. Crochet deserves to come first. <laughs> Always. Always crochet comes first. And then cleaning never gets done. <laughs> Mountain biking? Ooh, that sounds fun. I've been I've been talking about this. I was like I wanna I wanna go bike riding so bad right now. But I'm like, I think I need to fix up my bike a little bit and then it's actually nice out where I'm like, yeah, I, we can go biking. So I'm like, oh it'd be fun to like truly get some fun gear for my bike and stuff too. So maybe one of these days I'll get to go do that. <laughs> You want to get one of those electric mountain bikes? Oh, that would be nice. The ones where you can you can pedal, but you can also turn it on for, like, the really difficult parts. <laughs> I agree. That would be cool. There we go. I'm like getting hungry. I'm like I just had lunch before stream. I think I just need like a snack. I need like some like a like a smoothie or some fruit or something. <laughs> Why am I hungry? <laughs> there we go.
So this part is six rows. One, two, three, four, five. So we have one more row of increases, right? I think so. I'll check again, but. pattern goes to the next page so I didn't want to flip just yet <laughs> no, I feel like I might have to just to check there we go Maybe one of these days I'll have to do like a co-working thing with you guys. Maybe even just in Discord, just to get my my schedule organized. <laughs> we could just like hang out and work on stuff together and motivate each other. Because I figure now that I've kind of disrupted my entire routine, it's a perfect time to come up with a new routine and or like a new schedule for everything. So I'm like, this is this is good. Uh, <laughs> reprogram how I want to work everything right now and just get started immediately. And then I feel like that'll help. Otherwise, there's too much to juggle. Oh, I'm, I am slouching again. Everybody, posture check. Be nice to your back. So far, so good. Okay. I guess I should check again just to make sure that I've been keeping it nice and loose and uh, it's still matching up properly with the the bottom of our our lining, but I think it will. I think it will. It'll be all right. It'll be fine. Okay. So I think we have one more. Let me check. Yes, so there's going to be one more of increases, and then we get to the really fun part. Da -na 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 -na. There we go. I'm trying to debate on my next project. <laughs> you know, you think about, like, I'm just trying to come up with a nice a list of, of things. And I've been, I was having fun making keychains. So I'm trying to come up with like other keychains that would be fun and very me, but still enjoyed by all type of deal. But I do think it's really fun to make keychains. 
because they're like small quick sometimes they they aren't quick because they can be really detailed but they're, they usually come out really cute oh we do have an ad starting in 30 seconds fair warning may as well take a break grab some water stretch do what you need to grab a snack i might take a hand break and grab some water And if anybody's working on some projects and you want to submit some pictures into Discord, let me know. We can show them off. We can take a look. Tell you how amazing you are. That's, that's my favorite part. <laughs> I like to be the cheerleader when it comes to your guys' passions. So feel free. Show us what you're working on. You're very welcome to. <sighs> there we go. And there's the break. Oh, and luckily I'm like halfway around too. That's kind of fun. All right, so everybody take a break. If you're still here, feel free. We can keep chip chatting. I'm just going to have some water quick so I can feel a little bit better. Uh, but how are you guys doing? How's your week? What you been up to? <laughs> should, we, should we browse Pinterest for more pet patterns? Because I cannot be stopped. Oh, I was looking up some more pony bean like, ideas. And then I was like, oh, Halloween's coming up. We could do like ghosts and skeletons. A skeleton one would be so cute. Because you could make all the little pony beans, right? And then it could be like a wall hanging. I'm like, that would be so fun. So I might be doing that. <laughs> I figured that would be a really cool one to do. I don't know how many beads it's going to take. Actually, let me look. Since we're taking a minor break. Oh, I clicked on crochet. Hold on. Where is it? There it is. So the full skeleton, which I think is really cute, the one I found, but I might change up the pattern a little bit. I'll probably have to see uh, what it looks like with the actual like crocheted pony beans. But let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Seven fifty-eight, fifty-nine, sixty, sixty-one, sixty-two, sixty-three, sixty-four, sixty-five, and then the legs. Sixty-six, sixty-seven, sixty-eight, sixty-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-eight, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, eighty, eighty-one, eighty-two, eighty-three, eighty-four, eighty-five, eighty-six, eighty-seven, eighty-eight, eighty-nine. Eighty-nine, eighty-nine beads. So you'd have to make like eighty-nine of them, and then that would probably be a long. A long string to put them together. Honestly, I think it. I think it's doable. I think that one would be really cute as like a wall hanging, or even like put it on the front door. I have like this really cute like skeleton. Oh, I think I want to do that now. <laughs> uh, I think that would be kind of fun. Yeah, I think I'm gonna add that. I think it might, might, might be my next one, depending on how I'm feeling. Otherwise, I, I like the smaller ones because I, you know, I just feel like they're a little bit more doable. So even if we just do a skull or a cute little ghost or something, or like a pumpkin, the pumpkin could be fun. So many ideas, so many times, so such little time, right? But we are back, so I'm going to go back to... Finishing off the circle so we can get to the fun part of the pattern. 
I mean, the whole pattern's fun, mind you. All right, look. If you, if you want the pattern, there it is. Feel free, grab it, check it out. It's a good one. I mean, I recommend it, so it's got to be good, right? But let's see if we can't finish this up today. I'm excited. I love this color. This color is great. So hopefully you got some water, got a snack, stretched it out, relaxed for a second. Let's see. One, two, three, four. So we're on our last row of... If this is in the right spot, no. I moved it, and that was my mistake. Um, <laughs> we're in our last row of increases for the circle, which is the bottom. And then we're going to go up the sides. And I'm actually going to have to pay attention just to make sure I know what I'm doing. Because it's been many, many years since I've made this basket. And it's true. I've had this like this thing forever. I've made I made this so long ago. <laughs> I made it so long ago. Actually, how when did this pattern come out? Now I want to look. Hold on. Does it say? Oh, I was hoping there'd be a date. Oh, wait here. So a decade ago? Ten years? Ish? I feel like... I feel like... It was longer, but maybe it was. Unless they had it on their, like, their website longer. I don't even know. It says 2016. So a little less than a decade. That's not too bad. I kept thinking it was way longer ago. I'm actually kind of surprised. Hmm. <laughs> I kept thinking I had, I was like, God, this was a long time ago. I mean, I guess uh, 10 years is a long time ago. Like, eight years. Eight years is a long time. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, wait, why did I do that? <laughs> Three, four. But I hope everybody's having a productive, relaxing, a nice Thursday, honestly. Whatever you need your Thursday to be, I hope it's I hope it's a good one. But we are calling it Things in progress Thursday. <laughs> Thank you, Shifty. So if you're working on anything in progress, let us know what you're working on. Anything anything exciting? Anything fun? If you want to share it, feel free. We have our circle. We have our circle. Okay, so this part... <sighs> okay. <laughs> so I think dun, 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 dun. Bum, bum. I want to make sure I do this right so of course I'm like staring at it I 
I don't think you put them together yet, right? Okay, well, let's see. Because it doesn't, it, yeah, it doesn't say, like, connect. Let me see. Where do I put the lining in? Is it only at the end here? Da 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 da. I just want to make sure that I'm not, like, skipping something silly. That would be awful. <laughs> Aha, there it is. So that's going to be at, at round 20. We're currently at round 7. So we have a lot of time before we're going to put the liner on. I just wanted to make sure. Okay. But I do think we're going to be going back and forth between the colors. So I want to make sure I have that available. So here comes the fun part. Okay. Chain two, double crochet. Chain one. There we go. The same stitch is the second half of the pre- what? <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. They, luckily, they have a nice image. They have a video, too, but I don't, I'm not going to the video while I'm here with you guys. That's not happening. So we're going to chain two. That counts as a part. Then we double crochet in the next one. That's where I made a mistake. Okay. See how it makes that nice little V, upside down V? So then... We're gonna go into this guy. Double crochet these two together, like so. Lovely. Nice, okay, so then we're gonna end up doing this, I think, all the way around, but I want to read it as well as looking at the pattern. Oh, hi. Hi, Harvey. You wanna say hi to everybody? A little hard to be decided to join me. Yeah. I say little Harvey, and then he's like massive. But here's Harvey. Say hi, everybody. Harvey's here. I don't think I have your camera on or, or plugged in. There you go. <laughs> well, he was there for two seconds. So if you got to see him, there you go. <sighs> I'm like rewiring my desk a little bit so I don't have his camera plugged in at the moment. <sighs> okay, so we put that together. So that goes in the next two stitches, then we chain one again. Well, it looks like I'm confused by their picture now because we did the chain two. That's going to count as the, that we have a chain one, same stitch, and the next stitch. Okay, so then we have to go, aha, there we go. Okay. I've caught up where I was, I was confused. So we put in the Double crochet two together, then we chain one, do it again. But it's only, it's like every other one has the, the chain one in between. So this one won't have the chain. There 
we go. Woo! Puppy, you okay? Why are you coughing? You alright? You need some water? Hold on one second, guys. Come on, Sue, let's get some water. himself some water. He had a big old cough just then. Probably was licking his paw. Okay, where was I? <laughs> there we go. Wait. Yes. Okay, so that one goes into the same. Dun 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 dun. And this is just repeated all the way around. This is one I'm like, I have to kind of think. Because it is a repeating pattern. But I'm like, I don't want to put the, the chain one in the wrong spot. Or if I start putting the actual like V together in between that's gonna like mess it up there we go So you get to see the, the fun pattern once we go to the next color, I think. But for now, it just looks like the same. <laughs> At least for you guys. It just looks like more of the same. You're like, okay, Rach, you said this is the fun part. And I'm like, well, it is. It is. I swear. See, this part might take me longer. This is where I'm going to put my foot in my mouth and say, am I actually going to get the darn thing finished? Uh, maybe? There we go. <sighs> getting there. We're getting somewhere. See, I feel like with this, with this pattern too, you're going to want colors. Kind of like <sighs> different tones, you know, maybe complementary colors, things of that nature. So they kind of pop from one another. So I feel like they can other otherwise kind of get lost in the pattern. I mean, you could probably do this with one color, right? You don't even have to have multiple colors for the entire thing. And I think that would still look pretty because of the stitch itself. But I, I like that idea of like the, the big pops of color popping out. <laughs> pops of color popping out. Um, from one another in the basket, so can't help but want it to display that way. Then you can really customize it too, honestly. Okay. Almost all the way around. There 
There we go. What did I get there? Is that part of my nail polish? Get out of here. <laughs> I like did my nails this morning while I was editing and working on stuff. Stuff where my nails weren't going to get like, you know, touched and like smudged or anything. And uh of course it's like, oh, you got some on your skin, so it's like peeling off a little bit. Goofy. Absolutely goofy. Look, never never judge me on my nails. I like doing my nails. But sometimes I cannot be bothered. <laughs> sometimes it takes too much effort. I always like to just make it simplistic. Okay. We're so close, come on! Whew. This one row is going to take me forever. And then it's going to make me go, yeah, I might not finish this. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I believe in me. <laughs> I can do it. Okay. Now we'll have to make sure we're paying attention for the next part as well. Because that's like where the, the dark green is going to pop through the purple. Ooh, that's another game we have to we are I'm looking forward to doing more of a Stardew. Cause we're getting like into stuff that I haven't played before, and it's exciting. I love it. And I do love a good puzzle. I have to figure something out. Let's see. So that should just attach then? We finished up that row. Which is good. So now, this is where we're going to join with color B. Cool. Okay, so color B is our dark green, or it's your lining color. So there we go. Plopped it in there, joined. Two, three, four. Oh, you want me to be in the space? Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. Hold on. So I think what it's asking me to do is put it here into the first chain one space and slip stitch into that two three four and then another double crochet in there so that's going to make our v stitch Make sure I'm thinking it through. <laughs> you gotta always do this. I always like I'm like second guessing myself now. Okay. 
Yeah, we're just going to do this into every chain one space. So we're going to have double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And that's where we're going to just go all the way around. Perfect. Wait, what happened? <laughs> So it's V stitches all the way around. I guess you could have a third color. You could have the lining be one color and then the outer side <laughs> can be two different colors that intersect with each other. That would probably, like, eliminate the illusion of the lining popping through, but I don't think that's a bad thing. There we go. So far, so good, I will say. I just gotta make sure I'm going into the right spots. I'm just like, is that the right spot? Yes. Yes, it is. You're fine. If not, I will have to frog, right? I'll probably notice it on the next round. I've done it into every chain one space. Go. Cool. I like it. I like it. It almost looks like a tulip. <laughs> the way it's going to connect, that's what it's going to remind me of, I think, with the colors and everything. Like, I didn't really think about it until just now, but I'm like, I think it's tulips that it's reminding me of, like flowers. And my assumption is I should probably check first. It wants me, oh, I see. It wants me to take this one and then connect because we're going to go back now to the eggplant and then connect to the top of that chain. There we go.
Ta-da. Active loop of color B behind the fabric. Oh yeah, there we go. Working yarn of color A to the front of the fabric. Okay, yeah, so I think we're good. So now... Oh, did you just want me to... Okay, hold on a second. See, I don't trust what I'm doing all of a sudden. You know what? No, I'm going to I'm gonna connect with the green. But I'm going to bring the eggplant forward so that I can easily use it, I think is what they want me to do. I don't know. I think I'm just going to pull it back up to get it in there. The wording on that part is, I don't know if it's just me and I'm trying to do multiple tasks at the same time, but I'm like, mm. <laughs> you lost me for a second. Okay. So now back to eggplant. We're going to chain four. We're going to, does it want me to do down here? Or is it going here? It must be going here. Because the idea then, right, is we're going to go in between these guys, make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So now we're just doing these stitches. Yeah, I think it is. But part of me is feeling like this eggplant should be down here. And I think that's what they wanted me to do. Okay, never mind. I see the I see where I had the issue. I'm not supposed to to bring it into that that stitch. This one is now fastened here. This one Oh shoot. Is that going to be an issue? Could be, but I'm just going to pull it through here. Right? So on it, this guy there, we're going to chain four. Two, three, four. So that's going to be like the first side of the V-stitch on this last one. I'm going to keep the loop here, but in the back. There we go. Okay. <laughs> See? Beginning of the pattern, a little bit simplistic. Second part of the pattern, a little bit extra, but it's fine. So we have more V-stitches happening. Okay. So it's kind of like you're working the rows in tandem. You drop one loop, then you pick up the next one, and you continue on from there. That makes more sense to me. Getting all the pieces going in here. Yeah, I think I'll make this again. 
I'm like thinking about it and I'm like, okay, is it gonna be worth the hassle? Yeah, because I'm gonna know what I'm doing. It's gonna go, it's gonna whip up so quickly. I think I will make this one again. We'll have to see if I like the colors. I'm hopeful. Because I thought the eggplant on the outside would look nice, but now I'm wondering if the the green with a pop of egg eggplant would have been better. Oof. I don't know. We're going to have to see. But, I mean, I maybe it will be more of, like, the pop of eggplant and the green will be the feature. We'll have to... I don't know. I, I'm 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 thinking about it too <laughs> too in the future. I could always make one the opposite in color, because that could be kind of fun. Have like pairings of the opposite colors. There we go. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Okay. go oh, a little tired today so we did get up early to run so I'm a little tired but it's not too bad I'm just like feeling it a little bit and I'm like okay <laughs> I could use a pick me up I feel like that always happens in the afternoon too where it's like you get to a point you're just like oh need a break need to pick me up <laughs> working hard and then you feel like oh my god i'm exhausted Okay, so we're all the way around now. So I'm going to do one more double crochet here. Like that. And then I think I have to bring you forward. <laughs> Does it have to go between? No, I think it's going to go here. And then I think it already technically has the chain one in it. One, two, three, four. I think we have to put the chain one and then to the top of this stitch here. I'm going to slip stitch. And hopefully I did that right, and I'm not going to have to undo the whole thing. In which case, if anybody had a prediction of Rachel won't finish today, <laughs> that it would have been correct. All right, so now... Okay. So we're going to replace, we're going to get this active green. We're activating the green now. And chain four. Do I have to? Maybe I should slip stitch. Hold on a second. I'm going to slip stitch. 
into this one here. So I'm like inside of the V stitch because right now I'm just attached to that chain. So now I'm going to chain four. There we go. And then another double crochet. Like so. So now we have our first V. Lovely. I think we're just gonna keep doing the same thing over and over again. I just wanna I wanna check. <laughs> I'm always concerned. It's like I gotta I gotta you gotta make sure you're doing it properly. So yeah, we're gonna do the same thing where we're gonna make V stitches now with the green over the eggplant color. Where is this? Oh no, wait a minute. Am I doing this wrong? You know what's nice? Having this in front of me. It's not the V-stitch of this past one. We're gonna pull it through this V-stitch. Okay. Cause then it should like, I was gonna say, otherwise it's just like a line of green, a line of purple, but it's supposed to be every other. I'm glad I have this in front of me so I can <laughs> reference it when necessary. There we go, now we can switch colors. I knew something seemed off. So that goes through here, like this. Oh boy, hold up, how did I do that? <laughs> Why does that look funky? I think that's right though. Yeah, cause I think that'll pull through just want to make sure I'm not executing that wrong because I don't. If you have like a weird hole, it's gonna look funky. So I think if we have it here, okay. I feel like I have to fix it. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. All right, so. The first V stitch of the previous round. So I guess that would, that would be this one. It'd have to be that one, right? Because it wouldn't be this one. Otherwise we would have to come through. So I trust myself on getting into the right one here. Yeah, okay, so I am in the right space. I just felt like I wasn't for a second. Okay. I don't wanna lose my loop from the last round. So there we go, first V stitch. Now we're gonna go into each one of these. Much better. There we go. The visual of it is like easier to understand than um, just the written portion, I would think. Because it's like, oh, the previous round, oh, that round, of oh, this round. And it's like, hold on a second, what do you, which round am I looking at? How is this working again?
and then it just is going to repeat and you're going to repeat it for so many rows too so it's like once you once you get the hang of it i think it's not too bad i just think it's pretty i, I i'm not going to be able to stop myself from making more I think I missed National um, Granny Square Day, and I almost was gonna do Granny Squares today. I think this was this was more fun for us, at least right now. But I have plans for for different Granny Square projects to be working on, so I might just be making squares some of these days. <laughs> Maybe we could come up with some fun color combos together. Okay. It's all about the V-stitch. Mm -hmm. There we go. See, it's like once I get to like, all right, did I start it in the right spot? Then it's just like, just go, you just take off and then you finish the row and then it's the next part. It's like, okay, where am I starting this? So I can just go and get the whole thing finished. And then most of the time spent <laughs> in this part will be me going, okay, let's read it again. <laughs> read it again, team. Then you on my side. Okay. There we go. So now we're going to slip stitch to there. Drop this color. <laughs> it's like I'm doing color work. Pick up the original color, and I'm b pretty sure. We're going to want to go into here, into this space. So I'm going to pull this guy through here, if I can hook it. Am I in the... Hold on. There's the circle. Okay. Because now we're going to want to go through the previous V. And same idea. We're going to chain four. And then another double crochet to start the V. See, part of me is like, do I really want to go into this V or just between it? Let me check. I think it's just between. Yeah, we don't want to actually go into the green V. Here. We want to just go into the plum part. Okay. 
That's fine. So right here. So instead of actually going inside of this V, we're going to go above it. There we go. V has been created, and now we just keep going. <laughs> and now we go all the way around once again. I feel like with a bulky yarn, this would actually look really cute, too. I don't know about, like, any of the really soft yarns. Like, that could look really cute. Could make, like, a really cute basket for, like, a kid's room, I'm thinking. But if you use, like, a really thick yarn, I'm trying to think of one that I could use as an example. Even, like, oh, God, what are they called? Like, the Woolies? Is that the one I'm thinking of? I think that one would be really pretty. It would definitely, it would just make it a really thick basket. This one, like, almost reminds me of, like, like, pottery. Like, the colors and the way that it, it, it pulls together. It's very pretty. Okay. So I think this is technically 10. So then we're like halfway done with this side. Before we put them together. <sighs> Getting there. You guys are probably, like, looking at this going, mm, I don't think you're doing that in the right spot. That's fine. <laughs> you know what? It's going to look great. I'm, ex I'm excited. But maybe I can always look back and, like, watch the video or, or something and be like, oh, whoops. And then my next one, I could make it properly. But I'm actually thinking this is coming out the way it's supposed to from what I'm reading. And with with all the distractions and being on stream, it's it's I'm bound to make a mistake here or there, you know. Okay. <sighs> there we go. I guess I don't want to get blocked, so if I go here, there we go, last V, let me change back to the green. So then this one, 
will end up going into this one here, I believe. Or it's going to go into this guy, but I feel like it has to go forward, but then I, hmm. See, I'm going to want to put it through this last V-stitch that I made. <laughs> you know what? I don't care. That's where I'm putting it. It's going through here. And then I'm going to connect it here. Otherwise, I feel like it's going to make a weird pucker. Okay, now we have the repeats. Make sure that guy's hidden in the back. They almost remind me of Plum Bobs now that I'm hearing Sims music again. <laughs> you got like the green diamond shape. <laughs> so I got like the the pinky purple for our um our lovely friend the freezer bunny and then Plum Bob. How many more rows then? Because if we're going to repeat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oops. Okay, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is twelve. And then it's going to repeat through 19. Yep. And with the time it is, I don't know if I'm going to finish it. Come on, I got to. I have to. I feel like we're right there. Because we're coming up, we're like, right now, it's three hours. <laughs> Have I already been doing this for three hours? <laughs> but all together, let's see, how many rows do I have? 24. I'm on 12. I have technically 12 more rows. I don't know, do you think we should do it? Should I add another half hour, hour? Maybe. Maybe, because then I can get it done. And I feel like I have another one under my belt and I can make more. <laughs> it could be fun to do it with, like, scraps. And then as you run out of scraps, you just add on another one. That could be kind of fun. I kind of like the idea of that. So if I have any like really small scraps, maybe I'll I'll play around with that and see how it goes. But I think it could be kind of cool because then it would just be really like technicolored with uh, a fun pattern throughout. But I still think having like a one base color might still be a good idea. Just so that the other colors will s like super pop. So I might try that first and then we'll we'll play around with both ideas. Screw it. I'm going to have a ton of baskets. 
tons of baskets of different colors. And I guess technically, like, you don't have to do the lining part if you don't want, like, the lining. It wouldn't be quite as sturdy. But, like, you could just do this outer section. And then you can do, like, that last, like, brim part with the handles. You don't actually have to attach it to a any lining. That could work. It just wouldn't be quite as, like, structurally sturdy where it sits up on its own. Okay. So... You're gonna go in through there, so I'm just gonna... Pull this guy here. Like that. Grab this one. Oh, hi, Harvey! <laughs> Hold on a second. Hi, Goofball. Hi, Goofy. Hi, Goofy. Maybe he just wants me to come out. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Goofball keeps opening my door. Okay. We are in another ad. So, take a break. Grab some water. Stretch. All that good stuff. I'm going to keep going, though, because I want to get this guy complete. So we're going to be going through here. So let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, my God. What did I do? Oh, hi, Harvey. Are you back in here again? Okay, give me a second. Hi, you just want attention, don't you? Why don't you come look out the window for a little bit? You can go sit in your chair. You can go sit in your chair and look out the window. Okay. Just give me a few more minutes and we can go for a W. Okay. That was four. Yes. Okay. <laughs> You're throwing me off, Harvey. I'm in a groove. And now I made a knot. Like I legit made a knot. Okay. I think, what is this, 13 or 14, then? I'm not paying attention. I'm just going to do a bunch of rounds, and then... <laughs> and then I'll count at some point in between, making sure I'm at the right number. There we go. Because <sighs> I guess if I look at mine, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're halfway there. <laughs> oh, we're only halfway. A few more rows to go.
Does anybody have any fun stories? Any new books you reading, listening to? Movies, shows? I'm trying to think. I have a couple books that I'm in the middle of right now. One is The River We Remember that I have to finish for tomorrow night. And <laughs> another one is more of like a, it's supposed to be like a horror thriller type of book because I'm like in the mood for, for something scary. Where is it? What is it called? Like my brain, brain stopped. Brain fart. Hold on. Oh, The Lost Village. My next one's going to be Spells for Forgetting. So. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I did read A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. That was fun. I want to get the next book. I didn't even realize that it was like a series. So I'm kind of excited for that. But I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun. If you guys are, are in the middle of any good reads, let it, let us know what you're reading. <laughs> Always a good discussion. I had to read uh, something else for the podcast. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> How am I going to get this done? Luckily, it was a graphic novel. So there was a lot of it where it was just like a lot of action and like movement and sneaking around and stuff. So a lot more visual. So it wasn't like so big, but I mean, it was a, it's a thick, like a thick graphic novel. It was good though. I liked it. It was interesting. I guess I shouldn't like spoilers or not. Cause you don't know if there's shelf life, but. I just enjoy reading in a, a book anyways, so I don't even care. <laughs> okay. I'm also, because of, like, the, the weather and everything, I'm having this, like, need to... Oh, reread some books. So I might end up going to my reread list got that olfactory uh memories <laughs> it's making me want to reread or like rewatch some stuff so we'll we'll see we'll see what happens there i don't know i'm i'm i probably reread stuff too often for other people's tastes, but it's like, I don't know, I, I like it. When I find something I enjoy, you know, you're not going to get that same feeling of when you read it or watched it the first time, but I still get, like, those moments of, like, enjoyment or, like, oh, I like this part and, like, reading it and I don't know. I I, I, I like doing that. It's like re replaying a game, too, for me. I like to go into it kind of pretending like I haven't played it before and enjoying the story and it's how I, I give stuff replayability <laughs> okay so that's fine I think if I put it here and then go here. Oh, no, that's not where I want it. I feel like it's going to have to be... Put it around this one. Put it here. And then here. That's fine. Because I'm probably not doing each one in the proper space, but 
I'm like, as long as you get, like, the same look, I don't think it really matters where you begin that row. But I don't know if you guys ever do that. Do you ever have, like, that feeling of it's this time of year and you're like, oh, I have this memory of this one thing I really enjoyed reading or watching. You're like, okay, it's time. I must reread. <laughs> I must rewatch. Because it's, it's one of those where it's like you have the memory of smelling fall for me, right? It's right now. It's like that small, that fall smell. And then memories of the book or, like, show. And then you're just like, okay. I have this, like, connection there. <laughs> it's like smelling a certain time of the summer and fall, and I'm like, oh, it's back to school season, or, like, I was, like, going back to band or whatever. What did I do? Why does that V-stitch look so tiny? Oh, because I did it silly. Okay, hold on, because I screwed something up. On this last one. Luckily, it was only this last one, but that could have been really bad. It would have looked goofy. Instead of going down here, I went up here. Changes the whole idea, the whole image. Put that there. Da, 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 da. Much better. Much, much better. And I think what I'll do then. <laughs> I feel like I have to kind of stitch up to it and then one, two, three, four, and then go around. You see, I don't know if I'm putting that in the right spot. It just looks funky now. Hold on. <laughs> Why? Why are you doing this to me? One, two, three, four. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, you have to go to the back. And then we continue on. There we go. If you're just joining us, we are currently making the Moroc a Moroccan basket by Moogly. Let's see the pattern. Uh, <laughs> feel free to check out the pattern there. If you guys are working on any fun projects, what is your current thing in progress? Work in progress. It's thing in progress Thursday because I missed work in prog progress Wednesday. <laughs> Let us know. I'd love to hear about your guys' projects and everything you're you're doing. Hi, Harvey. I always feel like I have tons and tons of whips. Whips and tips. And then if you'd like to to share any images you can feel free join our discord we have tons of crafters gamers cool people 
little bit of everything. You can you can show off your art there. I'd love to see it. Barbie is now sleeping under my desk. <laughs> warm in here though I might not be able to last much longer because of the heat it always ends up getting so stuffy in here Okay. We're almost at my normal time for streaming. <laughs> Surprisingly. As long as I'm not saying my normal time for ending, then I haven't gone too long. That's all I'm going to say about that. Do not pull that. Okay. All the way back around. See, I feel like this is going fast, and at the same time, I'm like, no, I still have, like, <laughs> four more rows, and then I still have the top of the basket. Ugh. Come on, we can do this. Okay, so you come forward. if I should pull it through this way. There we go. Because I want it underneath. I think that'll give that illusion. Put this V-stitch here. That's much better, I think. There we go. Looking good. I think it's the lattice is what I'm thinking of. It kind of has that kind of uh, look to it. I guess since we are like going into the rows before, that might be what I'm thinking of. Almost looks like it's like climbing. I'm always worried I'm gonna bring the green with me or bring the the uh, eggplant with me when I'm not supposed to. I'm gonna have all of the handy baskets. <laughs> That will hold, each each basket is going to hold multiple whips um, that all have like the same theme or something. <laughs> I 
That is my plan. I will have many baskets then. Because, I mean, that's what I used my basket for. If you weren't here at the beginning, I was talking about this. And I've had this for a long time. When, we, when I look now, I'm like, oh, okay, it's only been like eight years, but that still feels like a long time. Um, but I, I tend to use it for patterns I'm working on. And a lot of the times it ends up being like the floral ones. So like any flowers I'm making or anything that's like flower or plant related <laughs> tends to go in that basket. So I took out a bunch of like carnations that I've I've made just now so I could show you guys the basket on stream. It's kind of funny. So I don't know how it became like designated for that, but it, it seems to have. It's a handy little thing though. Cause I feel like if you made it bigger, you could even have it where it's like, aha, this is my current progress like current Pro project there we go words and then you can like that's the one that you can carry around the house right so it could be like your couch your couch basket <laughs> your couch project right goes in this basket Same thing on this one. I have last V for this. I want you to come forward. This goes in the back. There we go. And then attach. Nice. So how many more did we have to do? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I just did this. So one, two, three? It's either three or four. I don't know. Anyways, we'll get there. <laughs> I guess I could actually count and check the pattern, but meh. Meh. Now I'm just using my basket as the... Where am I at? <laughs> what do I need to do here? Because what did I say? It was 24 total, but it's 20, no, through 19 of these rows. And then the rest is the, the brim and the handle. So that's not too bad at all. I feel like we're getting there. <laughs> Why does this keep happening? These weird little knots. There we go.
Okay. Here we go. Also, if you guys ever have any suggestions for streams, like if you were like, oh, I wish you would like try something, like this this craft could be really fun, or like if you were like, oh, this pattern is so down, like up your alley or whatever, um, feel free. You guys can always give me suggestions. Discord is always like the best spot, but wherever. <laughs> I don't care. I always love hearing like some suggestions on on different cool things that I might not have seen before or if I was like hesitating on it and somebody mentions it I'm like okay all right so this is something I should do you know that's kind of where my brain goes but I always love to hear it I have like a million ideas but it's always fun to to have a nice back and forth with you guys same with games and everything I like it. I'm enjoying this one a lot. See, I, this is a good pattern. <laughs> it just, it, it kind of looks like stained glass right now in my head. I'm like, if it was like the multi colors, I think it would really look like stained glass almost. Like if the green was, if this green was like multiple colors, it would be kind of cool. So I think my next one's going to be where the eggplant is black. And the dark green is going to be like a rainbow color. And I might have it where the the lining is also the black. So that the only pop is like through these, these V-stitches here. I think that'd be kind of neat. I like it. I like it. I should write this down so I don't forget. <laughs> Harvey's sighing. He's like, yes, this is a good idea, mom. Got to put in my two cents. Harvey had fun while we were visiting family the past couple of weeks. Fun and probably being driven crazy by a puppy who we had to keep, like, separating them all the time. Because he's five and she was, like, five, six months old now, right? And he's, he's just like, she has too much puppy energy and all she wants to do is bite my ankles. And I'm like, oh boy. So when we came back up, that was when she was like only a few months old. So now when we went back up this time, she was like five or six months. And she's a lot better about like the biting, but they they figured out a couple games together where they would like give each other a toy. They would tug on it. Then she would run around the room because she is... Tiny, I guess I should mention this, because he's 50 pounds, and then she's, like, 15, I think. So, big difference in size. But they figured out a game, and it's very, very cute. And then they both, like, she'll want a rough house, and it's like, no. Because Harvey can put you in his mouth, like, your whole head is in his mouth, and it's like, <laughs> makes everybody nervous. <laughs> But it was very cute to see them, like, interact and, and sleep, and it was very fun. She's, like, just so fascinated with him. It's adorable. But don't worry, we did give him breaks from her. <laughs> Definitely gave him some breaks. Next. Oh, we're so close. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, my God. I can't stop now. I feel like I can't. I'm going to go over a ton, aren't I? Yeah, it's already three hours. 
<laughs> I'm already going to three and a half hours. No! I didn't want to, but now I feel like I have to. I feel like I'm on, like, the last stretch of this. Like, how are you going to just stop now when you're right there? <sighs> At some point, I will have to stop because I can't lose my voice before tonight because I have to keep talking. Let's see. There we go. Okay. What colors would you guys do if you were making this? What color combinations is it making you think of that would be nice together? Because I still like my my next plan. But I'm like, what else could I do? <laughs> Feed me ideas, guys. Maybe I will do, like, some color combos from, like, shows or something. Or, like, sports teams. Or, like, really pastel colors would be cute. Make a very, very subtle change between the two colors. Could be kind of fun. Because even, like, this color with, like, a spring greeny, like, I have on this basket next to me would be really pretty. Mm -hmm. I'm even thinking like a taupe would be a fun one because then you could just put like a really pretty like blue or like a turquoise with it so that that pops through it's all it's anywhere where like a nice pop of color brightens it up a little bit changes it up I think I guess after this row, I should probably count. <laughs> I should probably count and make sure that I'm at the right spot. And I didn't, one, I didn't go over because that would drive me crazy. Or that I'm still, like, many, many rows away. Because I'm like, oh, I really thought I was almost done. I don't know if you've ever done that before, where you're just like, oh, this feels right. And then you look and you're like, oh, there's a lot more to do. Want to make sure I keep going around properly. Okay. There we go. Okay, so for you, you're going to come forward. First half of the V stitch on this side. Second half on this side. It's actually working out really well doing it that way. <laughs> there we go. So I think there's two left. So there's like one more row of like dark green, 
and then one more V stitch of the of the I was gonna say plum, but it's eggplant. Um, and then it goes into the bordering on the top. Now, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 16, 17, 18, 19. I was right. <laughs> so there's one more green, one more eggplant, and then the bordering on top. Cool. And now I just feel determined to finish it. So you're stuck with me for a little bit longer. Okay. There we go. Oh, by the way, so we were talking about doing the mystery crochet alongs again, but we're changing it up a little bit. So if you guys have any patterns that you think would be fun for me to do on stream with you guys, but have not a clue what I'm making, I will be making a uh, place for you to submit those patterns and it would be really fun uh, for us to do. I'm gonna probably say nothing massive, like a giant blanket or something, but like amigurumi is great. Small items, also good. But start thinking of stuff and I'm, I'm gonna add that to the Discord and probably put a link in a bunch of different places. And then we can start up our mystery crochets again. But I think that'll be cool, because then you guys can either do it with us, and it's almost like a mystery crochet along, right? <laughs> or you can try to guess what we're making. So it'll be a lot of fun. But I like the idea of you guys submitting them yourselves, and I'll either have... My mods help me out with it and separate the parts that I'm not supposed to see <laughs> and know what it is. Like, I don't know, I guess it would be like the title, any images or whatnots. I'll take those out or I'll do it myself and then we can always spin a wheel or pick it, like pick it from a hat or something. And it'll still be randomized and I, I still won't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Easy. I look at too many patterns all the time. I, I'll forget. I'll forget. <laughs> okay. There we go. I'm getting tired. I've been sitting here for hours. <laughs> if you guys need a break, though, feel free. Make sure you're giving yourselves a break. Posture check. Make sure to give your wrists a break if you're working on any fun crochet things or any other art projects. I guess we can talk about like the coming schedules, right? So tomorrow I'm thinking call to the lamb. And the fun thing is, all right, <laughs> it's on crowd control, all right? That's cool. I like that. So we might not be using the built-in Twitch integration tomorrow. I think I might enable crowd control tomorrow. And then you guys can add your your own followers and stuff. I might remove any of the super duper like game breaking 
<laughs> stuff that you guys can end up doing with crowd control only because I am working towards like completing this fully and I don't want it to be too cheaty. It's more of I want you guys to be able to interact with it. So I'll, I'm probably going to go through that one a lot. <laughs> Minimum suffrage. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to be cheating and you guys giving me everything and I don't want to be completely breaking the game. But I do like the idea that it has uh, a crowd control part. That's fun. So I think that's what we'll end up doing tomorrow. And then next week, because I didn't get to play Sims today, I think we're going to end up playing some more Sims. We got some Stardew Valley, more crafting. And then I don't know what I'm going to end up playing with friends, because we, we played Chained Together this week. If I, if I see who's available next week, it could be, it could be anything from Chained Together, to Minecraft, to Phasmophobia, to Core Keeper. <laughs> Literally be anything next week with that one. Which I think is fun, because I always like to have my buddies join in go yes but if i don't if i don't play sims on saturday which might happen it'll probably be next week then okay there we go pull that through i made a bump i don't want to bump i'm just gonna ignore that <laughs> Didn't make a bump every other time. Why did it do it that time? Annoying. Silly. Silly goofy. We will have to find some more games to do with crowd control, though. Oh, Supermarket Sim? That could be one. Do we need to have a viewer choice? <laughs> a viewer choice day next week, potentially? Where I let you guys pick? Because that could be good. Da -da. And then everything's up for grabs. I love it when everything is up for grabs on those. Okay. Bum, bum, da -da 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 I think I was thinking I was doing the opposite colors for some reason. I kept thinking that the green was going to be on the bottom and on the top, but the purple was going to be the pop. I think I flip-flopped it somehow, and I don't know why I thought that, but then I, I was like, no, I want the green where it is. But it's like, but it's not what you were thinking. I don't know. I like it still. I think it's actually really pretty. So once it's put all together, I think I think it'll be good. But I'm half wondering if I would have liked it with the colors in the opposite areas. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you like it where I have the colors? Or do you think it should have been flip-flopped? I can take feedback. <laughs> you know what would be really cute? You could make it look like a strawberry. I don't know why that just popped in my head. But I feel like you could make it look like a strawberry. Like a red and a white. <laughs> or I guess would it be red and black or red and white? To get like the seed color. I don't know why that popped in my head. I was like, ooh. I think it would work. And make it look like a strawberry. Because I was like, oh, these kind of are like the berries, right? Dun, dun, da, dum. Oh my god, we're so close. I'm just like, come on, go. Hurry, you can do it. Must encourage myself. 
to continue on because I'm just so close. I mean, I feel like it's just dumb at this point if I was like, all right, I only have like four more rows left. So bye. No, we're going to finish up the basket. We're finishing it today. <sighs> okay, we're good still. I can like feel the green strands and I'm just like I didn't put them under I didn't there we go I hope any projects that are being done with me today are going well though I hope you're fin finishing and there's very minimal frogging <laughs> At least no devastating frogging. And if there is, it's okay. You got this. Take a break. Give yourself a snack. <laughs> then get back to it, because I know you can do it. Okay. We're back to this. So I don't think, I think with this last round, it doesn't really matter. I could keep this on the inside. <laughs> because now, this is my, oh, wait, I did it again. This is my last V-stitch for this. And I'm going to fasten off the green. so exciting okay oh we've done it so yeah let's just do that let me i should have done that after this row but i was like oh, i'm not thinking about that i was like oh yeah all right there we go nice very, very nice. Okay, so this is the part where we go, the inner lining is gonna go inside, which is this lovely green. Just like that. I'm wondering if I should line up. Yes, I think I will. So it has the same number around. And what we're going to do is we're going to like crochet this attached. And what you want to make sure with this, right, is that the the inside you have the right side facing up. So both of them have the wrong sides touching. And again, with like the the right side on the outside. There we go. I don't think just the full stitch. So we're going to single crochet around with the full stitch. Okay. I'm just going to hide that in here. Because you can do the lazy person's thing and hide all of your ends inside. <laughs> okay. 
it works. Okay, so this first stitch. And then it says to do, you wanna go around, yeah, so we're gonna single crochet in the space and through the next one. And in the next stitch for both. Next stitch for both. Chain one space. Now I do think that the liner ended up being a little bit bulkier than the outside, but what I'm gonna probably do then is just kind of like wash it and try to like just shape it a little bit. And I think it'll be okay. I'm not too worried about it, honestly. I think it'll be all right. Okay. Ideally, it would have been slightly smaller than the outer, but I think it's okay. You can see it already wants to stand up on its own with the liner in it, which is great. But if you were like, I don't really want the liner, I probably would say just to do at least the circle on the bottom and then you could like have sewn it in there. You don't have to have like the walls. But I think it just helps to stabilize it a little bit. But I definitely could see that as an option. I was like taking, like looking at a crochet pattern and saying like, oh yeah, I could, I could do it this way. I could do it that way. Make it a little bit more versatile. And it's nice that it attaches this way and it just keeps going with the the other parts because it's, it's pretty much like a no sew. <laughs> the only the only uh, strand you're gonna have to hide away is that last one. And I know how mon much people love no sew patterns, so there you go. <laughs> You could probably put even like some, I don't know if I would say cardboard or some sort of like plastic disc like on the bottom to get even, get, to give it even more stability. I don't know if I would do that around the sides though because I feel like that would just be too much. Mm 
Oh, it's so good. It's so good so far. I mean, honestly, once you do this part, you don't even have to add the handles. You could just have it like a nice sitting basket. Be great, too. See? Versatile. <laughs> I'm doing the full pattern, though, because I like the little handles on it. It makes it easy to carry stuff. But if you just wanted, like, a really decorative, cute little basket, done. And again, I do have the pattern right there, so you can make one yourself if you are a fellow crafter. So I guess my recommendation, because like the way I'm looking at this right now, if your if your liner is a thicker yarn. Then your, uh, I guess your second yarn. If your B yarn is thicker than your A yarn or whichever one it is, I don't even know now. <laughs> then I would recommend going down at least a half a size. Because I think it would fit a little bit better. Do the, do the same size on the outer. But the inner one I think should just be a half a size down. Didn't really think about it until putting it all together, but that's okay. Like I said, it might be a smidgen, but I think if I wash it up and then re like shape it, I think we'll be good to go. go pop that in there da, 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 da. slip stitch there we go so now they're connected yay so how many rows do I have put left three I think we could do that I think we can do that because we're gonna make the handles now okay so let's see one two, three, four, five. And so far it's taken me four hours to make this. <laughs> a little longer than, you know, I wanted, but I think that's okay. And I think it took a little bit extra time for me just to like check everything and make sure I was doing it properly. But I think now that I've done it recently, I'm, I'll know what the heck I'm doing. Also, we're going to have a ad in like one minute. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Skip ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. There you go. Single crochet. Because that's going to be our handle.
five and 26. Sorry, I was counting in my head. <laughs> just counting. Uh, here comes me, just completely silent. I'm sorry. Uh, three, four, five. If this is like one of those rows where it's like, okay, you have to count every stitch just to make sure you have the right number of everything. And then I just become completely silent because it's been four hours and I'm tired. See, there goes the ad break. Go take a break, get some water, get up, stretch, do what you need to do. She probably should have snoozed it because I'm thinking we're almost, I think I'm going to be like done in a second. Because there goes that. Da -da. I went around it. So we made it around for that row and we have oh wait we have three more rows 22 23 24 whatever i don't know how i counted funky <laughs> whatever i think i'm just gonna go around this because i think it'll look better around and then it's just single crochets at the end here so that's not too bad right nothing too complicated about this just a few rows of single crochets Harvey is zonked out over here. He's not even, like, in the right spot if I had his camera on for you guys. I'm, like, looking at him. He's, like, behind me. Well, I hope this made up for yesterday, me missing uh, crafting with you guys. Plus, I haven't gotten to really craft with you guys for a few weeks. So look at that. We, we, we got an extra hour. And I'm actually finishing the project right now. So you got a full project in on one stream. Most of the time, all my projects take way more than one stream. Because why, why do I always love big projects? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Too many. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, I had... No, that was 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I did have 10. I was like, how did I, how did I do an extra one? I thought I counted that. go
if you guys do end up making this, I hope I hope you share it in the Discord. Let me know because I think it's a really cute one. I like this one. Cause I want to see your color combinations. <laughs> Did you do mono monochrome? Is that the word? Mono one color? Whatever, I can't think today. One color. Did you do multicolor? Did you go crazy? Every row is a different color. Love to see it. Okay. Two more rows. Feelings good. Feels good. Okay. He's now using my my yarn as a pillow. Good job, Harvey. <laughs> oh, that was kind of funny. When I was when I was up there, we'd be watching a show. And she was already, she was like taking a nap, like Dolly, Dolly, the, the puppy, right? And so I was like, okay, I'm going to crochet while, while we watch because I'm like, she's taking a nap anyway. She's not going to care. And at one point during the show, she saw that I was doing something. Like she woke up for a second and she had this like tired look on her face, but she comes over to me and she's like, what's that? She's sniffing it. And then she's like, buries her head into my, my crochet bag and is like, ooh, what's this? And tries to grab some of my yarn. And I went, okay, I'm done for tonight. <laughs> I had to put it away. Because it's just like, nope, nope, nope. Every dog has taken my yarn. And I have to teach them, no, no, no. This is, this is not a toy. <laughs> These are my tools. Harvey just thinks everything is his once I make it, and it's like something he gets to lay on. And it's like, that's no. He just thinks everything's his anyways, because he's so spoiled, aren't you? He's so spoiled. As he should be, honestly. He will always forever be spoiled. At some point, I do need to show you guys the city my brother and I have made. It's huge so far. I thought it would be kind of funny if I could figure out how to uh, make a copy of the save and bring it onto this computer because I have it on my laptop. And then we can play with crowd control on it. <laughs> and you guys can come totally decimate it. It would be very fun because it's massive. It's a huge city. It's kind of fun. How far we've gotten so far. Because we just kind of play it when we get a chance. Because we've always played simulation games like that together. Like starting with like Roller Coaster Tycoon and Zoo Tycoon. Well, Zoo Tycoon not as much, but like the originals, sure. I think we did. But all of those like games like that, especially Roller Coaster was our big one. We would build things together. We did end up having some nostalgia and playing Roller Coaster Tycoon. <laughs> so we were like playing and trying to make the same type of park in each game. It's like, I really like the look of Planet Coaster. I like the graphics and everything, but I kept finding it lacking, which was making me upset. Because I was just like, why Why does it feel like it's lacking? Because, like, everything is in the DLCs. And I was like, oh. Because, like, I felt like with most of the other ones, the base game had so much in it. 
had so much more in it. And I kept going, oh my gosh, why do I feel like it's lacking? It was driving me nuts. Especially like the terrain tools. So I don't know what they're doing with this second one, this second planet coaster that's coming out. But I'm kind of hoping that they, you know, fix the terrain tool stuff. And since they have so much of the, the zoo, ty zoo tycoon planet zoo under their belt. It's like, help me out, team. Bring more of that into this one. <laughs> but maybe I'm asking for too much. Because like, I feel like as much as I love The Sims... I feel like it has broken so many games with feeling like they need to have a million expansion packs and DLCs and make like make them outrageously expensive. It's like I don't think it's it's that necessary. <laughs> like can we go back to where like the game is just all right there? <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. I digress. I feel like we're actually pretty close to finishing Call to the Lamb. And when we do, we're going to need a new story game that we'll play every week. So I might I might have to make a, a short list of of games I think we should do. Then I'll let you guys vote on them. Or if I really just go, no, I need to play this game, I might just pick it myself. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. If you guys have any thoughts, though, or suggestions for our next, like, story gameplay where we play the entire game. And it's not a like, game like The Sims or Planet Zoo or something. Because those are way more open and you can do just play those constantly. Let me know. We're on the final row. This is it. Do I have? No. <laughs> Not next to me, and I don't feel like digging one out. Because the last thing I'd have to technically do is sew this this strand in, and I don't want to do it. I'm being lazy. I'm not doing it right now. I'll, I'll sew it in after. But it will be finished. Okay. Here it comes. The last few stitches. Any final words? There we go. And we slip stitch to end it. Boom. We have completed the Moroccan basket. And I think I'm, I'm going to make it like this long. So I can make it nice and, and snug in there. But I'm not going to worry about it right this second. But ta-da! We have done it. The Moroccan basket. basket. There's the pattern. I can show it here. I think it would be easier to see. Da-da-da-da! Da-da-da-da-da! So I think I'm going to wash it so that i can uh reshape it a little bit but otherwise look, look how nice that is and it sits up on its own which is great so you have like can i will it show it you can see like there's the the liner there's the outer edges i like it <laughs> i think it's really cute i think it came out really nice and then if you wanted to see, this was my original that I made so many years ago. Um, and it made me want to make another one. So I like it. I like these. I think they're really pretty. And you can see I used a variegated yarn on this one with like the like a spring green color on the inside. 
So I have two very different colors, but I like how they came out. They look really nice. They look really nice. <laughs> I'll put it this way so you can see it a little better. And then it's got a nice little handle on it and everything. So ta-da! Finished! Let's go! <laughs> Sometimes it's like you feel like you're in that final stretch. So that was all together four hours and 15 minutes, but it was probably more like four hours total. Because one, I had a start stream. Two, we chatted. So... <laughs> I'm 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 typing it in. I'm I'm writing it down as four hours, but I had fun. This was great. Let me see. So stick around for the raid number one. Don't just get out of here. <laughs> We're gonna raid. We're gonna have a good time. But uh, make sure you're following me on all my socials and all that good stuff. I like I've talked about before during the the stream. I have a podcast. Uh, feel free, check it out. It's called Shelf Life. We, my brother and I, talk a lot of pop, pop culture and stuff. It's very fun. We're going into the fifth, the fifth volume very soon. Join the Discord and the really cool community we have here, and then go check out my YouTube. I clicked it twice by accident. I'm sorry. <laughs> subscribe to me because my next big goal is going to be 500 uh, subscribers, which sounds kind of crazy, but now I feel like I can actually do it. Um, <laughs> let's see. I'm going to check out who I'm following first. Do I have any fun crafters? Oh, we have a couple. This is going to be good. This is good. One has just started right now, too, which is kind of, you know what, might be ideal. <laughs> so I think we, we might hop on over there. But thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun. I hope you had a good time. Um, again, tomorrow will be some Call to the Lamb with crowd control, so you can make followers for me, bring yourself into the game, and then I'll put a schedule up for next week. Uh, so this is this is a good week back so far. I liked it. I like it. It's getting me back into the groove of things. But let's get the raid started. Oh, there we go. Perfect. And then I'm going to say, keep crafting, keep gaming, stay lazy. I'll see you guys next time. The raid is started. Use that sub raid. Use that raid call. And have a good time. Have a good time over there. <laughs> you mean everyone later, guys? I say guys for everybody, too. <laughs> I'm with you on that one. It's, it's, hard, it's hard to get that out of my vocabulary because I just say later, guys. How you doing, guys? What's up, guys? All right. It's like a universal for me now. Ready? Should we get out of here? I'll see you guys later. Bye!